in today's video, i'm going to share with you twenty different items from disney that are worth big bucks. these are things that are worth one hundred plus dollars and the way i'm breaking these down is by category if you're selling on ebay, etsy, mercari or other platforms and these are definitely items that you want to keep on your radar so that when you see them when you're out thrifting or garage selling you take a second look at them check them out see what's sold and definitely pick them up so that you can make a great profit first up is snow globes there's a lot of money to be made in disney snow globes if you know which ones to look for so here are a few that have sold for a lot of money this is a disney aladdin snow globe that has sold for 617 dollars this just sold on march 17th this disney liberty riverboat snow globe sold for 149 dollars this Pinocchio snow globe sold for $345 and this Little Mermaid snow globe sold for $259. What I'm noticing about all of these really higher end snow globes from Disney is that they're not just a snow globe on a base, but most of them have characters and other things going on outside of the snow globe. Next up are Disney ears. Now I want to caution you on this. There was recently a bust done. I, I need to pull the details from this, but there were somebody selling fake Disney ears. And so you really want to make sure that the ones that you're selling are legitimately licensed Disney ears. So these are Star Wars Ahsoka ears that sold for $350. These are Orange Bird Mickey ears and these sold for $250. These are Betsy Johnson, a collab that with Disney that Betsy Johnson did for $140 that sold. Here's a Star Wars Parks Darth Vader Mickey that sold for $159. And there were a lot of these sold. So these are really hot right now if you can find them. These are Disney 100 years Expo Platinum Mini Ears that sold for $340. And there were, like I said, were quite a few of these sold. Now this is just a small sampling of ears. There are ones that are worth more, there are ones that were, are worth less, but it's definitely worth checking them out if you see them when you're out thrifting or at garage sales to see if they are some of the ones that might bring in a pretty good profit. Next up is Disney's 50th anniversary. We actually got to go this last year to Disney's 50th anniversary anniversary at the parks in Florida. So we we're really excited to go and celebrate there. I didn't actually buy a lot of stuff to bring back to flip, which now I'm kind of kicking myself, but hindsight is 2020, right? And that being said, a lot of the 50th anniversary merchandise can bring in a lot of money. So let's take a look at some of these things. So here we have a figment statue. This is one of the characters there. This figment statue sold for $255. This Disney Epcot 50th anniversary sold for $149. Here's one of the snow globes, the anniversary 50th anniversary snow globe that sold for $139. See, this one doesn't have the characters outside, but it does have that 50th anniversary, so it works in both categories. And then this is a gold, one of those lounge fly backpacks. This sold for $385. This is a twofer as well because lounge fly stuff you're gonna see pop up again in a little while. Next up is Disney popcorn buckets. Now when you're in the park, you can get these specialty popcorn buckets that you can refill for a discount once you bought the first one. Now they have different ones every year. We actually got a Christmas one that you wind up and it plays music and goes around like a carousel. It's really cool. And that one we're not selling, but there are different ones that sell for a lot of money. So here's a Winnie the Pooh one that sold for $137. This is Disneyland 70th Cinderella anniversary popcorn bucket that sold for $120. Here's another Christmas one that sold for $150. Not all the popcorn buckets sell for a lot of money, but they do put out different popcorn buckets each year. So I know when we were there, we saw a cool Toy Story one that had like blocks that were stacked up. And then we had the the wind up Christmas one that we ended up getting. It was metal, it was really cool. So it's definitely worth a look if you find a Disney popcorn bucket because it could be one that is worth a lot of money. Next up is Indiana Jones. This goes pretty much across the board when you find Indiana Jones merchandise. Disney or otherwise, I pretty much think a lot of it's Disney though. There was a an Indiana Jones ride at one point and they still have the stunt show at the, um, is it at Epcot or Hollywood Studios? I can't remember. Anyway, 
Hollywood Studios, I believe. Yes, and so there are definitely Indiana Jones merch that can sell for a lot of money. This is a vintage Mickey as Indiana Jones that sold for $600. This is the stone Sankara stone, I think is how you say that, that sold for $123. And the Funko Pop that sold for $320. Now, I know that there are Lego Indiana Jones Disney sets that are worth a lot of money as well. So pretty much if you find Indiana Jones merch, take a good look at it and see if it's worth flipping on eBay. Next are plush. Now I know that Disney plush is very prevalent out there. There's a ton of it. It's definitely worth looking up, but what I really want you to focus on is if you see characters that you are not familiar with, or maybe characters that are a little more obscure. So this is Dinah from Alice in Wonderland, and Dinah sold for $228. This is Br'er Fox from Splash Mountain, also from Song of the South. This sold for $249. And here is a stitch that sold for $100. This is a mashup. It says Disney uh, Stitch Crashes Disney Beauty and the Beast plush. So it's kind of a mashup between those two storylines. Next up is Song of the South and or Splash Mountain merch. Whether you love it or hate it or are happy that they're changing it or not, this is stuff that can sell on eBay, which is the point of the video. So this is a Song of the South Br'er Rabbit watch. This will for $500. Here are some beanbag plush of the different characters from Splash Mountain that sold for $179. And a VHS of Song of the South that sold for $175. So if you see Song of the South, Br'er Fox, Br'er Rabbit, etc., Splash Mountain, Take a second look at those things because they could bring you some good money on eBay. Next, we're talking Christmas. Christmas sells year round. And again, there's a lot of Disney Christmas stuff, but there's a lot of Disney Christmas buyers as well. So these are some Radco Disney ornaments of Belle and Beauty and the Beast that sold for $479. This rare Tinkerbell Disney store ornament sold for $375. And this is a blow mold of Donald Duck that sold for $149. Blow molds are pretty safe to buy, to flip, if you get them for a good price, because there's a lot of people that collect these. Next up are Disney shoes. Lots of different companies have collabed with Disney to make shoes. For example, these are Crocs of Lightning McQueen that sold for $239. Now these are Gucci, I mean, it's Gucci. So these Gucci Mickey Mouse shoes sold for $625. And New Balance also collabed with Disney for these Haunted Mansion running shoes that sold for $295. Definitely worth double checking any Disney shoes that you see to see if there are some that could bring some good money in. Next up are umbrellas. Yes, Disney umbrellas. This is a Mary Poppins umbrella that's got the parrot. Actually, when you open it up, the inside underneath looks like the London, like you're looking down on London. My mom has this umbrella and I love it. So this one actually sold for $177. And this Scrooge McDuck umbrella sold for $120. We're halfway through our 20. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you go over there and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other content that you might also enjoy. And if you have any other Disney items that you think we should keep in mind when we're out thrifting and garage selling, make sure to leave a comment down below and check those comments because there's lots of great ideas down there from viewers and friends of the channel that come to leave their advice as well. Next up is something that I love selling and that is mugs. So here we have got Magic Kingdom Starbucks Been There mug. This is the 50th anniversary one that sold for $125. This one is a Mondo Mickey, and this is a Tiki mug that sold for $109. Here we've got another Pixar cast exclusive, I'm reading it off, Ducky, Ducky and Bunny from Tiki Farm mug. This one sold for $599, y'all. And another Haunted Mansion mug, this one sold for $100. Haunted Mansion stuff is something else that you should really keep an eye out for. It didn't end up on the list today, but it's something that if you see Haunted Mansion merch, definitely check it out. Next up are Disney plates. There were lots of different Disney plates that sold for a really good profit, but I wanted to kind of bring to the forefront some that are gonna be more recognizable when you see them out. And it's these that are Bradford Exchange. They're almost three-dimensional plates. They're clearly not for eating. They're more collectible type plates that you would display. But this Cinderella plate sold for $122. 
And here, as you can see, it's kind of a three-dimensional plate. Here's Ursula. This one sold for $125. Now, this plate is one of these charger-type plates, just a flat plate with a design on it. This one's a specialty one. This one was an artist proof, and it sold for $500. But what really caught my eye on this one is that it's not one of, like, say, the Disney princesses or Mickey, Minnie. It was dopey. So it was something that was a, not obscure character, but one that maybe you don't see on as much merch as you would some of the more prominent characters. Next is something that is near and dear to my heart, which is jewelry. So Disney jewelry can sell for a lot of money. Again, there is a ton of Disney jewelry out there, all the way from kids' plastic stuff to very fine jewelry. If you see it, double check it. This is a Jiminy Cricket gold pendant that sold for $280. And Disney collabs with Pandora. So when you go to Disney, Disney parks, or when you go to the malls over there, there's a ton of Disney charms for Pandora bracelets, which is what I chose for my souvenir when we were there, a Pandora bracelet with Disney charms. So this is a Disney key necklace that sold for $174. And then just a sample of some of Pandora brace, bracelet charms that are selling. This is a cruise line Dumbo charm that sold for $150. Next up for Disney costumes, which again I know can be really saturated out there. So really keep an eye out for characters that maybe you wouldn't see as many costumes like the princess costumes. Yes, there's a ton of them out there, but Mike Wazowski, you might not see that one so often. So Mike Wazowski sold for $160. This is Disney Rapunzel's wedding dress that sold for $200. And then we had an adult costume for Ursula that sold for $112. So keep an eye out again for maybe villains, obscure characters, and then maybe adult size costumes from Disney. Next up are Disney electronics and or electronic toys. So this is a Monsters Inc. factory that sold for $170. This is a Treasure Planet toy that sold for $165. Treasure Planet's also one that I don't see a whole lot of merch for, so I think if I saw a Treasure Planet, I'd probably stop and give it a second look anyway. And then Nintendo collabed with Disney and did a special edition D 3DS. And I did see a lot of these up for sale, and a lot of them had sold. So this one sold for $159. Next are Disney toys, and again, tons of Disney toys out there, but there are some that are worth a lot of money, so take a minute and check them out. This is a pop figure of Sully that sold for $200. This is Anger from Inside Out. Anger sold for $144. And this is Tiana. This is an Ashton Drake Integrity Toys Tiana that sold for $369. And of course, if you see vintage Disney toys, definitely take a look at them. I have sold a Mickey Mouse is Minnie Mouse, little marionette that I found at a garage sale for a pretty good profit. I think it was around $80 to $100 that I sold it for. These sold for $482. And then again, if you see something that's obscure, that's not just like a normal Disney Mickey clubhouse toy, this is a monorail toy that sold for $114. Next is Lego. I love selling Lego just to begin with, but Disney Lego can really sell for a lot of money. These are brick heads of Mickey and Minnie that sold for $119. This is the Steamboat Willie set that sold for $145, and I'm kind of kicking myself because my son really loves Steamboat Willie, and I wish I could have gotten him this when it was out new. And of course, the Disney Castle sold for $500. I have sold the Wally -E set, the big one. Um, I've, I got them when they first came out and sold, I think I had two or three of them that I got when they first came out and put them away till they went retired and then they really skyrocketed in price. And right now Disney is selling brick heads of Wally -E and Eve and they are sold out everywhere and I can't get them, which is a really big bummer, but oh well. Next is bedding, sheets, towels, comforters, curtains even. Uh, this is a vintage Disney Mickey Mouse baby quilt. This sold for $149. Now this is from the Grand Floridian Resort. This sold for $187. I do not encourage you to swipe the bedding from the hotels, but I have a feeling this is something that maybe someone found at a thrift store or a garage sale or estate sale and decided to get it and list it. 
for $187. And then of course, Pottery Barn, which is a great company. If you find their stuff, I always recommend you looking it up because they make really good things and they are selling for a pretty penny. But Pottery Barn, these are Pixar, Finding Nemo, Bedding, sold for $199, 200 bucks. And then this is a Pixar Finding Nemo quilt that sold for $250 as well. Next, we're talking candles and candle holders. A few different companies have collabed with Disney to create candles and candle holders, candle warmers, etc. This is from Scentsy, and this is Miss Potts, and this warmer sold for $124. They actually just had a whole big Alice in Wonderland one that came out last year, and I got the whole set for my mom because she collects everything Alice. Then, this is the Little Mermaid. This is a Scentsy warmer that sold for $107. And this is the castle that sold for $122. Now Disney also collabed with Charmed, which creates candles that has jewelry, I believe, down in it, rings and such like that. And this is a Hocus Pocus candle that sold for $101. This is a Charmed one that sold for $109, Winnie the Pooh. And then these are candle holders from the Haunted Mansion. So this candle offer sold, well, best offer was taken, $125. And then this is one of the gargoyles from the Haunted Mansion. And this candle holder sold for $150. Next up are purses and wallets. Lots of companies have collabed with Disney to create different purses and wallets for their company. And this is from Dooney and Burke. Dooney and Burke collabed with them. And this is a Winnie the Pooh that sold for $284. This Dooney and Burke of Ariel sold for $159. And there are actually quite a lot of these in the solds. Here's that Loungefly again. Loungefly makes wallets, purses, backpack purses. This is one of Dopey that sold for $150. Here is another Loungefly purse that sold for $150. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. A Loungefly Nightmare Before Christmas bag sold for $199, basically $200. And this is an example of the Loungefly wallets. This is Lady and the Tramp, sold for $145. Coach has also collabed with Disney, and here is a crossbody that sold for $148. And here's a Coach collab with Mickey and a football that sold for $265. Kate Spade also did a collab with Disney, and here's one with Clarabelle, and it sold for $275. And this is also a Kate Spade of Alice in Wonderland that sold for $228. Vera Bradley is another company that did a collab with Disney, and this is an aerial bag that sold for $222. And there were also backpacks. This one sold for $145. If you enjoy videos like these, I'm going to link a playlist up here that I think you'll enjoy. And this is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And again, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoy videos like this, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.